Project Management Insights, providing project managers with professional development in the interpersonal skills areas of leadership, team building and communication. Hi, today I want to talk about testing. I don't think testing is taken seriously. I've worked on a number of IT projects and seen that testing isn't given enough credibility. It's not seen as something that's really important to the project. And I've watched shortcuts in testing being taken to the detriment of the project. Project managers, as project managers, you may think that testing is simply just another task to be added to your project schedule, one that takes up a lot of time usually. And so if you shortcut it, you'll save time and bring the project home in a shorter space of time. When the opposite is usually true from what I've seen. Shortcutting testing usually adds time to the overall project schedule. And what's worse is that it also impacts on your reputation, the reputation of you as the project manager. Why do I mention this? Well, you may think that there is no impact from testing if it's not done. And what I'm going to tell you is your thinking is wrong. If you, the project manager, take this shortcut, your project sponsor and project control board are likely to find out. Bottom line is that if this happens, then it's your reputation as the PM that's on the line. Sure, the testing team may be questioned. And what are they going to say? They will say that you made the decision to only test in a particular way. You were the one that shortcut the testing regime. Therefore, go back to the point, it's your reputation that's on the line. Testing and a testing team's responsibility is to thoroughly test. That may seem like overkill to you. You might think there is too much testing being suggested. And what I say is, think again. So this is why I'm saying that it's ultimately your reputation that's on the line. If you're going to test, then do it properly. Listen to the testers. Listen, listen to the test manager. And make sure that you support them in testing as rigorously as required for the project that you are managing. Sure, you don't want to go into, you know, major five or six um, weeks long phases of testing if it's a very small project. That's crazy. And if you are working on system implementation that is a large project and a large system with a lot of integrations, then your testing regime will be long because it's critical that you test everything in the right way. Do your testing in development. Make sure you undertake Q&A or functional testing. Do your system integration testing. And certainly, do your user acceptance testing. Do whatever testing is normal in your organisation or the business you're working with based on the size and the complexity of the project. Listen to the testers, learn from their knowledge, and utilise their skills. They're going to know what's required in order to ensure that this particular project is tested in the best way. Make your testing solid and don't shortcut. The time you take to undertake quality testing will shorten the life of your project, not add to it. And to top it off, your reputation will be strengthened not harmed. So make testing a priority for your reputation, if nothing else. Till next week. Thank you for listening to this Project Management Insights podcast. Be sure to visit projectmanagementinsight.com and sign up for our monthly newsletter or to receive updates on upcoming training. Thank you.